Hello everyone. Good evening. I hope you can hear me clearly. Right. So it's certainly an honor being here. On behalf of the Baha'i community of Malaysia, I would like to thank the organizer for inviting us to this wonderful event. I came when I came today, I don't know many of the people here, but all of you make me very welcome. Like I was greeted with many friendly faces and many people came and asked me, have you taken your dinner? And when I was sitting there on stage, I really enjoyed looking at all of you, your radiant faces. I felt like I've been invited to a very grand party, which each one of you has brought gifts or goodies. With it, I don't need like physical goodies. All of your radiant faces, your unique attributes, your character, your talents, these are the gifts that I receive in today's party to celebrate this oneness and our love for each other. So I felt very welcome to this party and I really thank all of you and the, and the organizer. Maybe we give ourselves a big clap for this. I think the organizer has selected a very unique team for today's um, event and it's wonderful to see so many of you from different backgrounds gathered here. So some of you even dress in your traditional costumes like what I do. So imagine this hall as a garden and each one of us is like the flower in this garden. So though we are different in our kinds, our colors, our shapes, but we contribute to the beauty and diversity of this garden. So in contrast, imagine a garden where all the flowers are um, like same in color and shape. It certainly will be less charming, right? So this oneness that we are looking at does not mean like uniform. We don't need to be the same to be one. But this is the oneness that we are working at is the oneness in diversity. And these brings the beauty of the human garden. So, quoting from Baha'u'llah's creative words, he said that, ye are all leaves of one tree and fruits of one branch. It means we are like flowers of one garden. The teaching of oneness of humanity, like we are one human family, is central to the heart of the teachings of the Baha'i faith. So, to embrace this diversity of humanity, it means much more than the tolerance to the differences. Rather, these differences actually contribute to the harmony. So our differences are like the different notes that makes up the different chords and uh, form a beautiful melody in all of us. So this oneness and in diversity has enabled us to embrace the diverse shades of thoughts, temperament and character. As a medical researcher myself, I personally like another analogy given by Bahá'u'lláh on oneness. Bahá'u'lláh has compared the world of humanity to the human body. So within our human body, there are millions of cells. And all these cells are different in their form and they perform different functions. And they play their part to bring a complete human systems. So this principle of oneness that governs all these cells is cooperation. The cells does not compete for resources, but instead they are in a constant form of giving and receiving. So we are just like different cells in the human body. All of us are unique in that sense. So with this understanding, we accept the oneness and we try to eliminate all forms of prejudice, be it in the form of religions, backgrounds, gender, or races. And along this analogy, no matter how insignificant and small that cell is, each one of the cell, and like us, is created unique. And we have a role to play. So Baha'is believe in the nobility of humankind, and we believe that each one of us can contribute to the advancement of society in terms of spiritually and materially. So, when we are like the cells, each one of us is unique. It doesn't matter how small we are, each 
each one of us can be a protagonist for change. So to build a vibrant community, it could not be like a single individual or a small collective people um, to bring about this change, no matter how well intentioned they are. So cells have to work collectively to perform the functions of an organ. So Baha'i sees every individual as a protagonist and we are happy to work with all the members. So these novel thoughts will not bring an effect if they live at a level of cost. It needs to be translated in actions. So on a practical level, uh, the principle of oneness defines the relationships between us and the community members. So the Baha'is in every, really, uh, in every neighborhoods and villages, we meet with our neighbors very regularly and we discuss the needs of our, our neighborhood and the, the Baha'is and their friends they are also engaged in a continuous process of learning and study, reflect, consult so that they can also increase their personal capacity to contribute to meaningful service to their community. So the Baha'i friends they are involved in empowering, teaching the children and youth in the community to develop their spiritual capabilities, their intellectual capabilities so that they can also contribute to this advancement in their own community. So it is through this process that in some places that we begin to see the glimpses of the power of oneness after decades of continuous and dedicated efforts. When the community come together to serve each other, we experience this feeling of unity and oneness and we begin to see the power of unity in our actions. So before I end, I would like to compliment the organizer again for creating such a wonderful space like this for us to reflect, to contemplate and celebrate this oneness. Many people may say that achieving the oneness is actually a utopian vision, but I beg to differ. With all of us here coming from diverse backgrounds and gathered here today is already a testimonial that it is possible to achieve this oneness. What is left for us to work is to extend this invitation so that we can invite more our brothers and sisters of the human family to come together and celebrate in this grand party like this. So unity is a sign of maturity. The fundamental principle of oneness of humankind requires a profound development in our thinking and in our actions. With this, I would like to end with this inspiring quote by Abdu Baha, which is the sign of Baha'u'llah. If you desire with all your heart friendship with every race on earth, your thought, spiritual and positive, will spread. It will become the desire of others, growing stronger and stronger until it reaches the minds of all men. Thank you.